So yeah, even though I'm using a red team, it's a very well-balanced team, in my opinion. But, yeah, it does really well in OU. It's got a few annoying things, like Ferrothorn. That's probably going to be a Mer Mega Heracross. I don't see any other Mega. And, yeah. Normal Heracross is a bit subpar in OU. I do want my rocks up, though. So I could just lead with Heatran, in case he leads with Pharaoh. And he's going to go with Curum Black instead. But that's fine. I resist, I resist all his moves. And if he wants to substitute, I have Raw. He does want to substitute. Okay. He's probably got Earth Power, actually. Oh, that's a scary thought. Shit. He could have... No. Do these, see, do these run Earth Power? I'm gonna roar. And he goes for a Fusion Bolt. Thank God. So, that's good to know. He goes into Latias, which is sort of a pain, because he's just gonna defog, and I'm gonna have to get my rocks up again. And he does defog, but I do get a Toxic. So, I'm gonna win this rocks battle. Rocks defog. War. And Psyshock and Draco both will do nothing to me. Because one's resisted, and I'm specially defensive. They're both resisted, actually. Stealth Rocket is. But yeah, Heatran handles quite a few of his things. Which is good. He's going to go into Zapdos. I don't know if this has Defog as well. If it does, it could have Sub. But I think I'll just go for a Toxic. He's going to go for the Discharge. Doesn't get a Para. That could have been annoying. Because I obviously would have got fully paralyzed first turn. That's what you do. And I am just going to... I could Roar here. Because why would he stay in? Discharge is not doing anything. And he's going to go for the Agility. I should have Roared. But why... Why? He doesn't have, like, hidden power ground. He can't take me out. He's seen the roar. He's gonna go for a roost. Get out of here, bitch. He's gonna go into Latias, so that is perfect. Because he cannot touch me. And I'm tempted to roar again. I'm just gonna roar. So, because, yeah, he's gonna switch out into Kieran Black, and we roar him back into Latias. So that's great. And I'm just going to roar. If he wants to stay in, I'm really not going to take any damage from any of his attacks. Unless he's got Surf. But he doesn't. He's got the Psy Shock. And after Life Orb and the next Rock Switch in and all that, he is going to be dead soon. Heracross is scary. I sort of want a Lava Plume, but if he's carrying, like, Earthquake... If he's carrying Rock Blast, I can deal with that. Like Rock Blast, Pin Missile. But he's probably going to have Earthquake as well. So I want to go into Rotom. I think. Or. I could go into Gyarados. I think Gyarados is a good switch in. Because he's not going to go for the Rock Blast that turn. He go so he goes for the Close Combat. And once I Mega Evolve. Although I will be... I don't th oh, he's not going to go for a Mega Horn because I'm he doesn't know if I'm Mega or not. So, I can just waterfall. Or I could I think Dragon Dance is better. Because yeah, then I can outspeed next turn. And yeah, he's probably going to switch. But I can't really touch Ferrothorn. That's the problem. And he can leech seed me and just uh, be annoying. So what can I go to? The only thing that blocks Leech Seed is Breloom. So I might just start going for some Force Palms. So yeah, he is going to Leech Seed. There's a couple things that resist Force Palm, but 30% chance to paralyze, and I get a crit! Suck shit, Ferrothorn! Your spiky 
bitch ass face. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't even care if I die. Like, and he does switch, so that's good. In a way. He can't get paralyzed though, so that's bad. But later, I can just start firing off rock tombs, and like half his team is hit super effectively by rock. And Ferrothorn should. <laughs> it probably won't die from that range, actually. But. I can go into Rotom here? Heatran is probably the better switch. Because he's going to roost. I'm not going to take anything from a discharge if he wants to go for it. If he wants to set up agility, I don't know whether to roar or lava plume. I think I'm just going to roar. He's just going to go for the discharge. And he gets a Zoomeril as the raw switch in, which sucks for me. But I'm going to go back into Gyarados here. So now Ferrothorn is on low enough health that an Earthquake will kill. And hopefully he's locked into Waterfall because I don't see Life Orb, don't see Lefties. And yeah, that means we can just Dragon Dance. He's going to stay in. He better not be... Oh my god. The Hacks Gods have smiled upon me today. He posts dot dot dot. I I am so sorry. That probably just won me the game. So he must be Mystic Water then. Actually I can't I can't even kill him. Never mind. I I don't think Earthquake will even kill. So it won't. And he's got a citrus berry. So Oh my god Oh no I am... I apologize. Wow, this is the luckiest I've ever been, and it happens to be while I'm recording. Oh my god. So, that's a thing. The double 90% miss is a, is a legit strategy on how to win Pokemon games. And I'm gonna say, that seals the win for me. So wait, will Ice Fang do more, or will Waterfall? 120, 130. 5% chance to miss. I'm not liking my chances. I'm just gonna waterfall. No, Ice Fang probably would have killed. <laughs> Fuck. I didn't want the miss, man. I did not want the miss. I can just start firing off some uh, Scarfed Rock Tombs now. It should kill Ferrothorn after rocks, I should hope. Rock Tomb. And nothing on his team really wants to take a Rock Tomb. Like, Heracross probably doesn't know I'm Scarfed. So I can lower his speed and then come in with, like, something else. Take it out. He's gonna go into Ferrothorn instead. And that, I bet that is gonna live. I'm gonna assume he's fully defensive, because that's the set I like to run. Breloom, not Life Orb. Choice Scarf. Where's the Rock Tomb? It's almost... Yeah, that's definitely not gonna... 8 to 9%. I guess I can go into Heatran. But I don't want to take... Oh, he's not gonna Leech Seed. There's no way he's gonna Leech Seed. Like, if he Leech Seeds, he has the biggest balls ever. So he doesn't. And that... Is either a dead pharaoh or something else dead, I'd like to say. Yeah, so Ladias after... Oh, maybe he will live. Yeah, he's just gonna live. But we've already figured out that Ladias can do nothing against me. I'm gonna roar. Because either way he's gonna die from toxic. Unless he has a roost. But he'll outspeed me with Roost anyway, so I'm going to Roar. He's going to Healing Wish. So yeah, the reason I Roared there, because he was going to die to Toxic anyway, and that means he couldn't choose what to switch into. And, oh my fucking god. Ah, <sighs> Ferrothorn gets fully healed. I cry myself to sleep at night. You know, a normal day of OU. 
this is gonna die. Mm, yeah. If he goes into Heracross now, which he obviously is going to, so I don't know if he's... he's probably not Mega. He's probably Scarfed. I didn't realise that before, but I'm gonna let Breloom die. He's really no use to me at the moment. And he fucking Swords Dances. Jesus Christ. At least I... he forfeits. He obviously knows that I'm Scarfed. And I can Rock Tomb, and I can just screw him over with Bullet Punch, and... So I had that, pretty much. But yeah. Red Team, doing well so far. Two for two.